Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to look at a Tarpon Bay uh, knife. Now this is, I believe, a knockoff of a of an Emerson design. I'm not sure. It's a Chinese knockoff. I picked it up at an antique store for like 10 bucks years ago. I've had it in my collection for quite a while. Um, I have no idea what this handle material is. I believe it's wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. Um, it's pinned construction, so it's again, it's not what you'd call high-end. Um, pillar construction, and one of the pillars acting as a stop. Um, single thumb stud, which comes out just a smidge too far, but not too bad. And I've noticed that this particular style is kind of an older design. I've seen it, I own a number of knives that aren't all that new, and quite a few of them seem to use this. Um, so I guess at the time it was considered, uh, it was considered uh, the idea, the ideal. And if you could tell right there, that blade is not centered in the least, not even a smidge. Um, you have no way to adjust the pivot, so what you got is what, you, what, you, what you're stuck with. Um, this is uh, uh, this blade is just stainless steel China, so um, nope, didn't quite pop out fast enough. That's a knife. And then you have tarpon bay there, and then on this side it says stainless steel China. I think you can see that. Um, so just generic single position thumb stub, which means I think in theory you should be able to just loosen that and turn it around if you wanted to to make it a left hand open, which is nice. It's good. it's a liner lock with a cutout here on the right side, so it's really designed for a, a right handed person, and uh, it goes over kind of far. It really does. It should have only gone about to the halfway mark. Um, you get a very, very minuscule amount of movement. You can't see it. You can barely feel it in this in in this lateral direction. In this direction, you got nothing. Um, it's very slick in the hand. I would not. I would definitely not want to be using this for heavy tasks for light duty cutting. I think it's quite acceptable. Um, one thing I notice is that this these liners right here, they're not going to hurt you, but they're just, they're definitely not deburred properly. Because you hold it like this, you run your finger in there, and you could feel them kind of almost biting into your skin. It's it's not what you call real comfortable. So I think they would have just just deburred that slightly. It would have had a better overall um, feel for the to, for in in the hand. Now the overall shape is nice. That's what attracted me to it. It definitely has a has some nice lines, and it's it's ripping off another uh, on someone else's design. There we go. Um. And there's no jimping on the uh, liner lock, and there's an ample, you know, generous cutout here. So closing it and opening it is is is, is, is quite easy. Um, I like the design. Um, I would like to see the knife that it was ma based on. It's kind of hollow ground, just barely. It's not quite flat ground. It's not quite hollow ground. It's somewhere in between. And of course, you have a secondary bevel. And for a cheap Chinese knife, it just didn't have a bad edge uh, at all. Overall, it's a nice little knife. Uh, I purchased it just because I thought it was uh, attractive. I liked the lines, and I knew it was ripping off uh, some other design, better design um, of someone else. I have very seen very few Chinese folding knives that were not copying some other maker. Um, so, if anyone knows what this is actually copying, I would I would appreciate that. That would be cool. Um, so, overall. It was, it's a nice little addition to my collection. Um, not something I'll be carrying on a regular basis. It's got no pocket gloves, so I'd have to carry a sheath. It's a little too big, in my opinion, to be carried in a pocket. Um, so, but, you know, it's in my collection, and I'll keep it there. Um, I'll kind of thing I get to take out and play with once in a while or show off if somebody asks me what I've got. Um, so there you have the Tarpon Bay folding knife.